in this video, I'm going to review the Small Rig SR RG1 shooting grip and find out whether it's better than Sony's own. Shooting grips are great for vlogging, using as tabletop tripods, and controlling your camera over Bluetooth. In this review, I'm testing it with the Sony ZV E10 mirrorless camera, though the SR RG1 is compatible with most Bluetooth enabled cameras from Sony and Canon. So, Small Rig have sent me this grip for review, but I'm not being paid to review it, and the review of the grip will be honest. So you can decide if it is a good purchase for you. So the grip has a load capacity of 1.5 kilograms and can be used as a mini tripod or a handheld grip. It has an extendable arm up to 5.9 inches and has a detachable remote control with camera control buttons. The SR RG1 is currently priced at £80.90. The packaging it comes in is not considerably bigger than the grip and is securely packaged. It comes with a manual and beyond the grip there is a USB Type-C cable for charging. So fairly straightforward but I'm very happy to see a charging cable included. And taking a closer look at the grip, it's made of hard plastic with a few metal elements and it has rubber grip pads on the back. It has a quarter inch thread to connect the camera to the grip, but it also has a thread mount at the base of the grip if you wanted to securely attach the grip to something else. And now onto the buttons. It has a wide telephoto slider for zooming in and out, photo and movie buttons for activating those features, as well as a button for the C1 function, which you can change at any time. There is also a power on off switch, which is unlikely to be knocked by accident rather than a power on off button, which you would easily press by accident. So that's a nice little extra. So the legs that turn it into a tripod open up from the back to put it in tripod mode. And the remote control is detachable from the front if you want to use it separately from the tripod or the grip. So when you're attaching the grip to a camera, it's done with this dial here and once it's on, it feels very secure. It's nice that you don't have to twist the camera around to attach it to the grip. And opening up the grip into tripod mode is easy enough and holds the weight of the ZV E10 with the kit lens very easily and you can fit on slightly larger lenses as well. To change the direction of the camera, use this switch here which makes it a very comfortable angle for vlogging or either side if that's what you need. You tilt the camera by using the silver button on the side. So overall, it's a fairly sturdy mini tripod for smaller cameras, especially with smaller lenses. You can also use the same silver button to extend the arm of the grip for a longer shooting angle, which is good for vlogging, but Definitely worth bearing in mind that it is not sturdy enough for using in tripod mode, your camera will fall over almost instantly, even a lighter weight setup like I'm using here. The detachable remote control is very light and small when removed. Useful for keeping in your pocket per se, or just carrying around with you to operate the camera from afar. And here you can see the USB-C port for charging. And the remote connects to the grip by magnets. Now you can see if I give it a bit of a shake, the remote doesn't come off the grip, though if I give it a bit more effort, it does fall off, which isn't ideal because it does mean that it might come off during general use, especially if you've got the grip in your bag or something, it could be very easy for the remote to come detached from the grip. Let's look now at pairing the device via Bluetooth and using the remote control. When you're on your camera, go to Bluetooth settings, and then pairing. Once that's activated, turn on the small rig remote control using the power button and hold down at the same time the movie button and the C1 button until it pairs, which you'll be able to see on the screen of the camera. Should only take a couple of seconds. Then you can control the camera using the remote control. And when using a power zoom lens, such as the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens, you can zoom in and out using the WT slider. 
and of course you can use the photo button to take photos and movies using the movie button. And as I mentioned before, any function you've got mapped to the C1 button, you can also use from the remote control on the grip. So here's an example of using the grip as a vlogging grip. As you can tell, it's pretty good for a wide angle type shot. This is just using the kit lens and you could zoom in and out as required, but that's 16 millimeter that is the standard width is pretty good from here. Now, as you can also tell, it isn't that stable. There's no stabilization built into the grip. So any stabilization has to come from the camera as this isn't a gimbal. But if we wanted an even longer angle, we could use the extendable arm of the grip to go there, that's the first mode, and then the full length is there. So if you really wanted a long angle, it's still not too heavy as it is a relatively light grip, um, but for an extended period of time, that would probably be a little bit too heavy. So what is good about the SRRG1? Well, I really like that it's got a detachable remote whereas other grips, such as Sony's own, is built into the grip, which does mean that it has a lot less flexibility. And talking of flexibility, the extended arm option definitely gives you more options when shooting in the vlogging position. But as I mentioned before, just be careful when using it in tripod mode, it will topple over very easily. I probably wouldn't use the extendable arm at all when using it in that situation. A shame, because it would be nice to have that extra range, but it probably isn't worth the risk of your camera falling over. Also, the inclusion of the USB charging is a big plus, especially, again, compared to the Sony grip, which needs batteries. But what do I not like so much about this grip? Well, it would be better, in my opinion, if the remote clipped to the grip. As you can see, it comes off very easily. It'd be nice if there was a way of stopping it detaching by itself as this has definitely been an issue while I've been using it. Another small downside is the lack of lock functionality on the grip. And what this means is that you can still press the buttons such as photo mode record while holding the grip if you've got the remote connected to the grip. This could be annoying when vlogging as you could accidentally hit the button and stop your recording and you might not necessarily realize. The Sony grip by comparison does have a lock so you can't accidentally press these buttons. And it's also worth noting that the grip will become unbalanced by a larger lens, even if it's under the weight limit. This is fairly obvious as it's a small grip, but if you're using something like the Sony 18 to 105, it's worth noting that it's not very suitable as the lens is very big and front heavy, so the grip will start toppling over forwards. So overall, for $90, if you're in need of a tabletop tripod for live streaming, a lightweight vlogging grip, or a grip with a detachable remote control, the small rig SR RG1 comes recommended by me, and I would definitely choose it ahead of the Sony GP VP T2BT. Not just because it's got a better name, but because of its detachable remote, its extendable arm, and USB C charging. If you'd like to pick one of these up, I'll leave links in the description. Do you use a camera grip for vlogging or something else? let me know in the comments below. But if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. But until next time, see ya.